Hey everybody, Mikey Kung Pao here. Wrong time, no chat. So, uh, thought we'd drop in at least for a few minutes and talk about Jody Araya retrial penalty phase. You know, I wish I could have uh, come in sooner and chat about it, but there have been all these sports events on. I'm not really a sports guy normally, but it's like my team at the end of World Series, you know, the Giants. I have to watch every game. And, uh, like, tonight, Dallas was playing and uh, got whipped by the Washington Redskin. So Dallas, like, win every game till I'm watching Monday Night Football, right? But, um, see, I'm going way off topic again. And then on the weekend, I got to watch the NASCAR Sprint Cup race because my favorite driver getting down to the Final Four for the championship, you know, Jeff Gordon. And then the emotional, so he came in second, which really good. Emotional favorite win, which would be uh, Junior, you know. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., you know, number three, the uh, legacy of his dad. So, never mind all that. If you're not into sports, you're going to be bored all that. So, uh, tomorrow night, another giant game. They can crunch the series. Um, I should have been wearing a giant baseball cap tonight, shouldn't I? But, see, I went up fishing in Oregon right, uh, recently in my place up there. So, one of the places Jody Araya will never be. So, uh, You know, cut the big uh, flounder. It's sort of like a halibut, like small halibut, you know. Anyway, before we get way off topic, uh, let's talk about Jody Araya. So the first thing I would note about the Jody retrial is, of course, this whole trial thing dragging on forever and ever. This murder take place more than six years ago, okay? When all of these trial things started, uh, way back in 2008, uh, this lady here was um, very interested in following it. And now here we are, after all this time, dragging on so long, here's the same lady being interviewed about the start of the penalty phase trial. Probably more fascinated now because... Uh... So you can see what the little aging do, do to her, right? So, uh, anyway... Uh, and the other people have aged some. Nermy don't look right to me. Let's go look at a couple of pictures, uh, you know, and just see what's going on in that trial room just a tiny bit. Don't you find it uh, a little bit disturbing that Kurt Nermy looks totally different this time? Judge going, you're still going to stick with that uh, abused woman self-defense thing? Are you kidding me? Juan Martinez going, I got this in the bag. And see this guy in first trial um, look a little bit like Lurch from Atom Family. Detective Frohr is going, this was uh, one of her medium size lies. She told some small lies, some medium lies, some big lies, and some giant whoppers. I think Wilmot did not age quite as much, uh, aged a little bit more actually in the last year than Kurt and Ermy. This guy going, you know, listening to this woman's crap, it's piled up about this deep now. Never heard so much in my life from us, from Jody Araya. So, you know, here we are, another year gone by, year and a half gone by, been making videos since you know, March of 2013, and uh, here we are, Halloween again almost, coming up this week. By the way, I have a couple Halloween artifacts here and uh, harvest artifacts. Our whole house is filled with this stuff. So let me show you. Of course, the Indian corn. You like that? We got giant pumpkins and gourds and, and, and decorations of all kinds. Uh, you know, Miss and Mikey, she, she liked to decorate, like super decorate everything. And no holiday go by without, you know, like thousands of artifacts and decorations every place. So we have all this kind of stuff. But uh, we got some halloween -y stuff. This is how I'm going to look if Jody or I don't get the death penalty. I'm going to look like this guy right here, okay? So, Brack. I'm going to look like the color of Jody's eyes. I'm going to look like the color of Jody's heart, okay? Brack. You know, I think that she don't have to wear a costume on Halloween because she can come as the succubus. And she'll do just fine, don't you think so? I always thought she looked a little like an alien. I told you in another video. And of course her friend, um, 
Alice Revile Rat will come, you know, and visit her. So, uh, the two of them will be fine, I think. Alice will fry over, at least in spirit, don't you think? But remember, Alice Lavalette has a problem with the truth. Anyway, since we're excluded from the courtroom this time around, as far as seeing the video, I hope to see it later, don't you? I went back and I watched, uh, I really miss Juan Martina and the way he turned Jody into a, you know, instead of a free whore wonder, turn her into a four whore wonder. And uh, so I went back and watched his summation, the whole three and a half hour thing, which I had not really actually watched before. I saw part of it, didn't see the whole thing. And uh, it was very interesting how he tied all the months and months of trial together in a nice timeline, showing all her thousands of rise and rise. Let's look at the, just a couple of crips. This uh, individual, the defendant, Jody Ann Arias, killed Travis Alexander. And even after stabbing him over over again, and even after slashing his throat from ear to ear, and then even after taking a gun, shooting him in the face, she will not let him rest in peace. But now, instead of a gun, instead of a knife, she uses lies. She does these things because she's such an ornate liar. Times, that she, all of those days that she testified to, and the reason that I bring that up, this ornate storytelling, is because it applies to her defense about, and her defense really is based on lies. She created a lie. How horrific it is to be accused falsely of being a pedophile. The epitome of, li of a liar, whether this individual, what you're going to accept, or reject what she tells you. So you see there, this is why we come back and uh, stay interested in her penalty phase because she's going to continue tormenting Travis and Travis' family, uh, you know, as much as she possibly can with all this crap about abuse and everything. And so, uh, you know, we want to see her get the death penalty so that she'll be removed from the general population, rest privileges, no more chances to torment Travis' family forever. We're just rooting for her to be away from all the publicity that she rub, rub, rub so much. Uh, almost as much as she rub tormenting animers. But isn't it interesting? You know, I picked up a, a few new subscribers, quite a few, but I also pick up, as people get interested in the retrial penalty thing, I also pick up more of those crazy, psychotic, sociopathic Jody trolls, you know, who show up and, and complain and send me emails and put messages on my video and say, why are you talking with that terrible Asian accent? To which I say, what accent? And, uh, you know, and, and then, oh, and they even complain about how, you know, uh, why don't you say her name right? How come you say Jody Araya and don't pronounce the S, you know? And, if, and they say, if you knew good English, you would know to pronounce the S on the end of a proper name or a proper noun or whatever. And hear what I say to them about good English. Of, does, that look, does that look like uh, Irinois to you? Should I say Irinois or Irinois, okay? And how about this one? Arkansas? Should I say Arkansas? or Kansas, or whatever, okay? So, I know my English. Besides, I have a better reason for dropping the S off of the Araya. Well, first of all, some people pronounce it that way, okay? Not just me, but also, hear her last name right there. Araya, Araya, okay? All right, so let me fix it, all right? If we just get this, this off of here like that, just get that off of there. Okay, and it looks like that. Then all we gotta do is put a giant letter in front and a giant letter behind, like this, and we have pariah. And that what she really is, okay? She a pariah, okay? And so that fit her name a lot better to drop the S. Do you know what a pariah is? Let me tell you. 
most of you already know. But just in case someone don't, all right. Here is the dictionary.com definition. Okay, a pariah, an outcast, or any person or animer. I don't know if I want to dignify her calling her an animer. Is in, is a succubus an animer? Anyway, any person or animer that is generally despised or avoided. Okay, so pariah fit Jody Araya just perfectly in my book. Don't you think so? You know, I was reading my Bible. I'm going to cover up the gold letter that have my name so you can't see. Well, you thought my real name was Mikey Kung Pao, didn't you? Um, so I cover it up so you don't see it. Anyway, I was reading in here the other day and I came across a passage that really reminded me. It was so poignant as far as uh, pointing to what the Jody Arai is like. Let me see if I can... I printed it out. Here it is. Here is the passage. It from Proverb 6, 16 to 19. I printed it out. going to read it to you. This is what it says. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, that would be like smirking, you know, in court. At uh, Juan Martinez and the Alexander family. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, even one that, like a lizard tongue, but still tell a lot of rise. You know. An ornate liar. You know, a lying tongue, that's two, two for two so far. Uh, hands that shed innocent blood. I think we're three for three. A heart that devises wicked schemes. Go back and watch my video on premeditation. Okay, wicked schemes, which Juan laid out so well in his summation. Uh, so four for four now. Five. Feet that are quick to rush to evil, and we know she have that. Stalking, spying, crimming through doggy doors, slashing tires. Well, I'm not going to go down the whole list again before she do the 29 stabbings and gunshots. But anyway, we five for five there. All right. A false witness who pours out rise. Notice we have the lying scene twice. If ever there were a world-class liar, it Jody Araya. An ornate liar. Araya. Okay. And a person who stir up conflict. Okay. Which you certainly do. So we'll give her half a point on that one. Anyway, she almost, uh, you know, bang a thousand. Pretty much uh, in, in world of Siri Ringo and everything. Uh, she's as evil as they come as far as this list. Uh, the things that the Lord hates. Okay. Mostly have to do with lying and murder and shedding innocent blood and wicked scheming and premeditation and being up pissed off about not going to Cancun so jealous now he call me the now he call me names he finally on to me say I'm a sociopath don't want nothing to do with me anymore two days later she steal the gun and a few days later he dead okay so after she do all the scheming but here's a thought okay she's gonna get hers one way or the other I think um, I don't care life without parole death penalty whatever just don't give her anything less than either of those, is all I say. But meanwhile, uh, though we don't get to see one in action right now, the thing is, you know how uh, decent people and classy people have classy people also that gravitate to them? I want you to take a look at Juan Martinez's girlfriend. Now I want you to look at Jody Araya, girlfriend. So there you have it, a contrast of two worlds. Who do you think will win out in the end? Uh, I think we know. So um, other than the uh, new Islamic radical group known as ISIS, I think Jody Araya is about as evil as they come. Uh, she up there in the world class, you know, level. 
Uh, maybe we should send her to join them or something like that. An ornate liar. Uh, see what they can do with her, but I uh, don't know when I'll be back again. Wish I could make a lot more of these videos. So until we come back and see what happened later on in her trial, uh, you know what I would recommend. Basically, I would recommend that you don't go with no sociopath, okay? Just don't. All right. Take care, everybody. Till next time. Bye-bye.